Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Muscular X, and in today's video, we're talking about helping you secure your first 1,000 subs in five easy steps. And if you're new around here, man, welcome to my channel. So, you're probably wondering, like, yo, I'm gonna get my first 1,000 subs. Like, you're thinking, yo, this is my year. I'm about to get monetized, secure this bag. I've been trying to quit my nine to five for like the last couple of years now. Or maybe just want to be an influencer and help cultivate a better next generation. Well, if that's you, that's good. Because I'm going to give you five tips that's going to help you get on the right track to nabbing that first 1,000 subs. All right? Honestly, bro, I'm on that quest too. But I got a pretty good idea of what needs to be done in order to get there. So let's do it together, okay? But number one, we're going to stop talking about doing YouTube. Probably like, what do you mean, X? What are you talking about, bro? You know what I'm saying? Honestly... You gotta stop being the one guy or girl that's always like, yeah, I'm doing YouTube, I'm grinding, this is my year, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I was on that same stuff. <laughs> but in all seriousness, man, like, rather than just cultivating your idea and saying you do YouTube because it sounds cool, you gotta actually get up, make yourself some coffee, or grab your favorite energy drink, and get active, man. This could be writing your first script, turning on your camera, and recording your first video clip, or even just finding like your first video that you want to react to. You just got to take action towards getting your next or even first video up. All right. So that's number one. Number two, you got to find a lane, man. Now, this is one that I'm still figuring out myself, to be completely honest. But I have a pretty tight circle of ideas as far as like uh, what I'm comfortable with doing. You know what I mean? Um, so if you look at the topics on my channel, um, as far as my China art and stuff like that, like the different things I don't want to cover, uh, you know, that's pretty much like the realm of content that I'm going to be staying in, you know, so just make sure that whatever niche you choose, uh, to do, that is something that you can consistently see yourself doing. Otherwise it's going to feel like a chore to make content and you'll eventually take a hiatus or just stop doing that style of content altogether. Now there's nothing wrong with experimenting. I'm going to get, I'm going to be honest, but you know especially in the early stages of your channel you know but once you find a winning formula like you should definitely double down on that you know what i'm saying like, so if you got a video that like finally takes off and pops like you want to kind of like replicate that as many times as you can to try and get your numbers up you know what i mean and then you can always like change up later on uh that sounded so bad not change up in a sense that like you become like fake or something like that but like you can become a little bit more relaxed and kind of uh i guess introduce more of like your personality and stuff like that into your content you know um but for me right now it's looking like reactions to be honest like uh, i had a couple reaction videos you know hit over a couple hundred views and uh i'm kind of staying in that realm for now but I'm doing this video right now because uh, honestly, I want to try out this style and see how I like it. So, y'all give me some feedback down below. Let me know if y'all like it. All right. So, if you're enjoying the video, man, and finding this helpful so far, help your boy out with the like, drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, comment a flex emoji down below if you're still here. You know, so I know who's really trying to grow this shit. All right. So, look, number three, you got to learn the meta thumbnails in a niche that you decide to go ahead and become a part of. Okay, and you want to get good at it. So whether you have to learn how to do it yourself or outsource it, just make sure that, you know, you learn how to do the thumbnails that are winning in your niche so that you can go ahead and capitalize and become part of the hype yourself. Okay. All right. And it's like crucial, especially like in the first early stages of your channel, while you're trying to secure that first 1000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? All right. So nobody even knows, you know, who you are yet. So that's what I'm saying. You know, you want to go ahead and kind of ride that wave of the thumbnails and stuff like that and figure out what the meta is. You know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We kind of in this together because uh, your boy's still trying to figure it out myself. But yeah, like I said, we got it, man. We got it. But on number four, all right, you got a trend hack. So you got to find out what's trending in your specific niche and make a video yourself to cover the topic. This can be reacting to someone else's content that may cover said trend or you can make your own unique video but capitalizing on what's hot is definitely the move to get some traction going on your channel all right and number five it's our last but certainly not least tip you got to stand out so whether that's going to be you know you're editing using a gimmick like a costume or something maybe you're good at doing impersonations 
You might have a cool ass pet that helps you get noticed. <laughs> I don't know. But whatever it is, you have to use it to your advantage, especially while you're trying to get your first 1,000 subs, okay? Now, you know what, man? I'm gonna go ahead and do a bonus tip because I feel like you guys might need to hear this. As cliche as it's gonna be, but you have to stay consistent. I mean, yeah, I already know that everybody made mama say to do this, but, bruh, it's true. If you start to build a little wave and then, like, you just kill your momentum by taking a break or stopping, then you'll never reach your goals. You know what I mean? So, this one that I got to work on myself, I ain't even gonna lie to you, but, like, trust me. I've seen so many people around me, you know, they keep going. You know, they started around the same time that I did, but, bruh, like, they well over 1,000 subs now, and I'm still, like what like 250 right now something like that so yeah man you gotta stay consistent you gotta keep going you know you can't take any breaks don't kill your momentum gotta keep going you know gotta get in that bag bro so just keep grinding remember like this isn't clocking into a job it's just easy you know it's easy to clock in and make your money you have to be there you know this is 100 on you you know what i'm saying nobody's gonna motivate you to get up in the morning and do it you have to do it yourself you know you can get on youtube and listen to other people like myself you know it's gonna tell you like kind of give you the blueprint or help you along and stuff like that but ultimately it's up to us to get up in the morning and uh make something happen you know so if you really want that first 1000 subs and further beyond that bro it's gonna take a lot of discipline but we got this so if you enjoyed the video man you know, honestly, sub to my channel for more inspiration, laughs, and good vibes. You know, I also stream on Twitch. So if you enjoyed this gameplay, uh, this is actually one of the games that I will be playing on Twitch. So uh, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Feel free to catch me over there. But I'm going to catch y'all later. Y'all take it easy. Peace.